Welcome to Goodwin. Woo. So I am one of the co-leaders of Goodwin's FinTech practice. Um, I'm an old payments guy, and anybody who was an old payments lawyer got into Bitcoin uh, and Ether and stuff. And so when I first got introduced to Bitcoin, it was $4 a pop. And if I had invested $10,000 at that time, probably would not be here tonight. <laughs> that would have been about $35 million. Um, so I am uh, a member of our token generation team. We've handled about 50 different TGEs. I've read probably 500 white papers. Um, everything from... One of my favorites was disrupting the real estate broker market because I had a bad transaction in the real estate and I want to disrupt that market. You know, I've seen that. I've seen, I've seen AML. I've seen, I don't play virtual games, but and this one was successful. Um, I saw it, one with dog food. What's that? I saw one with dog food. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen one where like people are, buy, are trading like decals that go on weapons that are played in virtual games. I mean, I've... I've I've seen it all, and it's, it's fantastic. Um, anyway, so I'm in our D.C. office, and it's very funny. Everybody in D.C. has a book manuscript. Everybody in Hollywood has a um, movie script. And virtually everybody I meet nowadays has an ICO or a token idea. I mean, it's amazing. So in the crowd here, how many people have a token idea or have a token already? Raise your hand. I mean, that's, look at that, that's pretty good. Um, so I am asked, I was asked three times today um, if the person who had a token idea, whether it was a utility token or a security token, um, Multiple times a day, I'm asked. And, um, I mean, that's the main question, because a security token is subject to SEC regulation, and the industry takes the position that a utility token is not. Um, think of a utility token. You guys have talked some about utility tokens, but think of a utility token as an arcade token. Um, it has some use. You play a game with it. And in our world, like, look... If you don't know First Blood, take a look at First Blood. They're a gaming utility token. They're like the virtual um, equivalent of an arcade token. So a utility token has some use. Um, security tokens are bought for investment with no use case. Um, so let's talk about the lay of the land a little bit. So um, a month ago... The chairman of the SEC in a conference here in New York City, giving a speech in off script, he said, quote, I've yet to see an ICO that doesn't have a sufficient number of hallmarks of security. And just last week, tacking a little bit to the right at a blockchain conference in Berkeley, um, some representatives from the SEC were asked, hey, if, is it dispositive if one puts a token on a exchange? Does that make it a security? And the answer was no. So by implication, the four people that were at that conference who were fairly high up at the SEC, by implication that means that you can have a utility token, at least in the eyes of the people that were there. And whenever someone from an agency gets up and speaks, you know, the first thing they say is, is that, my remarks are not reflective of the SEC's position. So, but by implication, you know, that was a position that, yeah, yeah you can have a utility token. Um, so obviously there's uncertainty. And um, there's more and more uncertainty uh, each week that goes by. Um, earlier this week, uh, the SEC's cyber unit took its first enforcement action. Um, and it was, they filed charges against two organizers of a Canadian ICO. And the charges were that in the white paper, they made, you know, unsubstantiated claims. And in the white paper, they said that um, you're going to get great investment returns. 
markets. And so, and that ICO raised about $15 million. So this new cyber unit at the SCC is in full force and they're going after the bad guys. But there's a lot of good guys. There's a lot of good guys. Um, so there's a legal test for um, a utility token. It's the Howey test. I'm not going to get into that. Um, I'm going to talk about something more practical. But I'm not going to get into the Howey test, but the Howey test is from a 1946 case, SEC versus Howey, and that's part of the issue, is we got old law being applied to new innovation, which creates some uncertainty. Um, you know, but beyond the law, when I size up a token generation event. If someone comes to me with a token generation event and says, we take this on, what's your thoughts on whether or not this is a utility token? I go straight to the marketing. Um, it's my quick thumbnail sketch of whether or not you have a utility token or a security token. Um, and that's what the SCC's cyber unit looked at too when you read that enforcement action it was really about what you're putting out in social media what you're putting in your white paper and what you're doing in your marketing so there is a legal test and if you work with me we go through the legal test but also too you know we go through the marketing i want to see a white paper that's dominated by what the token can be used for. I don't want to see the word investment in it. I don't want to see anything about how the token will increase in value. I want to talk about the use case. I want to see your first blog post be on a specific token use case. How a token can be used end-to-end -end on a platform. You know, so for instance, if you have a platform that's, let's imagine it to be like Wikipedia, um, and tokens can be awarded to someone who submits information, just the platform, you know, give tokens to be able to put out on the platform. I want your first blog post to be about all those use cases for the token. Um, I want to see marketing place and communication channels that users of the tokens would frequent. So, for instance, if you've got a game token, you know, you're not marketing to investors, you're marketing to users of the game token. So I don't visit any of these things. I don't even know what Slack is, but like apparently there's Slack channels where like gamers are. Like it's really at the end of the day, a lot of it has to do with marketing. So, you know, if you have a utility token, your communication has to appeal to its users. So the last thing I'll say, and, and this is not, this is not a plug for strategic coin. But um, one of my co-panelists had mentioned you get a good lawyer at the beginning. I totally agree with that. And I do totally agree with, like, I have people ask me all the time, can I put you on my website? Can I put you on your white paper? And, you know, if a re reputable firm will allow them to be put on the white paper, that says a lot. So I, would look, I, I do agree with the point that you made. Um, you got to do a lot of different things if you got an ICO or TGE going but you have to hire a marketing person to make sure that you're in alignment with your use case and your marketing. And so an outfit like, and there's others, like strategic point and others are very, very important from the gun floor. Again, it's not a plug for these guys, you know, but I do think, you know, you have to have someone that knows the stuff that can help with the communication because I, I think at the end of the day, that's where most of the problems are in the communication of it. Um, this is fantastic. It's great to see so many people here. And, and thank you very much for coming to Goodman Proctor. We really appreciate it. <laughs>